Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a weekly reading and I haven't done one of these for a very long time so I'm really really excited to do this. So we have group number one, group number two and group number three. So please choose your group and let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's happening for this week from Monday to Sunday. So we have communication. Effective communication builds a deep bond grounded in common trust and understanding. So this is quite interesting because Mercury is in retrograde at the moment and it's really affecting communication. So you may have a little bit of miscommunication or you could be waiting on communication for somebody or you could have communication from somebody. Could be somebody from the past, let's just put that out there because it is Mercury retrograde. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting few weeks. So let's see what else we have. We have complexity, yep. So it definitely could be somebody like complex coming towards you, somebody you don't really want to talk to, or it could be somebody you want to talk to and now it's just kind of confusing you. Patience, pause before you take action, trust that divine timing is at work, be patient and play whilst you wait. So if you're waiting for something, then I definitely feel like there is some sort of patience that you need to take in terms of this action. There could be patience in communication from somebody as well. If you're waiting on communication from something or somebody, or a certain situation could be a something to do with the law, with law, could be something to do with a court case, that sort of thing, then definitely pause before you take action and have patience, it's gonna be okay. It might be a little bit complex at the moment, but everything's gonna be okay. So we're gonna pull some tarot and we're gonna see what's gonna happen for each day. So let's have a look at Monday today. I'm filming this video, let's have a look and see what's going on today. So we have the Hermit, okay, lovely. Okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I feel like Sunday looks like your best bet. I feel like whatever you're waiting for, you're most likely gonna have it be completed on Sunday. You may feel like a lot of things are being left out in the cold, okay? You may feel like you're being left out or something isn't really happening and therefore it makes you feel like, okay, well, what, where is that thing that I'm waiting for? You know, like, why is it taking so freaking long, you know? So for this, for this group, I feel like with this week, it may feel, feel a little bit intense. And I do feel like you guys, are possibly dealing with some sort of individual or person or this is just causing you to have patience in a certain situation okay guys this is a general reading so it's going to resonate with each of you differently the hermit is all about kind of going inwards <clears throat> excuse me going inwards and kind of seeing okay what is there is there anything that i need to work on right now so there could be something that you're moving away from and this could be to do with some sort of intense kind of um what's the word intense kind of emotional blockage and I feel like you're going to conquer that you could have an air sign or a earth sign helping you out this week you could even meet an air sign or an earth sign this week definitely a lot of earth so if you guys are dealing with some sort of something to do with money or finances then that could be that sort of thing we also have the nine of cups so as I say whatever you're going through it is going to lay off so it's, it's going to be it's going to be resolved okay so let's get one more card and see what the numerology says about this week Okay, we have your commitment is being tested. Yeah, I definitely feel that for this group. Wow, definitely something is uh, being tested in terms of your belief system. Yeah, exactly. So believing that things are possible and just have patience that things will work out the way they are. And if you do feel like things are getting too intense, then just take time out and just take time to feel yourself and do whatever it is that makes you recharge and um, come back to your own. And if this week does feel a bit rough, guys, it's not going to last forever and things will change. But I don't feel like it's going to be too bad, okay, guys? I do feel like it's we do have a happy ending here. And even you may even meet a, a particular kind of grounded person or somebody who's going to really help you out in this situation. Or you're going to feel much more stronger because of this situation, okay, guys? So let's see what number you should be looking out for this week. Six. So look out for number six, guys, and please look up the number six if this is any significant for you. 
So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe down below. We have now hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm honestly so, so happy. I love you guys so much. I love this channel. I love you. I love, I love what I do. It's just, it makes me so, so happy. And you guys just make me feel so nice and warm. So thank you so much. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for this week. So let's see what the main energy is. We have two cards from this. We have enthusiasm and energy. Beautiful. So I'm just going to put, see if I can put both of those up there. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to see if we can put both of these up here. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay. So we're going to have enthusiasm up there. So that's going to be like the main focus. And then we also have energy underneath. So you guys are going to have a lot of energy this week. I'm going to plop you under there. Okay. We then have moon feelings. Interesting. And then we also have passion. Wow. So this is really interesting because we've got passion and we've also got energy. So we've got that really lovely combination of, okay, whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing is going to be, is going to get started. Something that you really are interested in right now is what is going to be the focus here. So the feelings that you have towards the situation are going to be hotted up. It can be really, really amazing. So if you've been feeling down or confused or tired, then your energy is going to really, really perk up this week. Okay. I'm going to put that little guy there. So let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. We're going to have a look at the tarot. I'm going to see what's going to happen on Monday. Hangman, beautiful. So you guys are going to have a realisation on Monday. This is the day that I'm filming this. So hopefully you guys would have seen this by your Monday, wherever you are in the world. We also have the Eight of Swords. So that's a Tuesday. Let's have a look for Wednesday. Nine of Wands. Thursday, Judgment, beautiful. So that's amazing. So whatever you're waiting for, you're going to get it. I don't know where to put this little guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him over here. Maybe you're gonna have lots of energy that you don't know what to do with it. Um, Friday. Beautiful sun. Saturday. It's like a whole little story this week. I love it. Saturday, we have the King of Swords. We had the King of Swords in group number one. So maybe you guys go watch group number one if you feel like it's resonating with you, with you guys, if you feel drawn to. And we have, on um, Sunday, we have these two of wands. So for a lot of you guys, you want to move away or move towards somebody who is quite far away. You guys are really leaving the past behind and you're really exiting the premises in terms of all the feelings that you used to have, especially in terms of one person. It could be one person that made you feel really, really uncomfortable. And now you're like, boom, bitch, don't need you in my life anymore. Goodbye, 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 okay? You have so much energy now that you've, you're releasing a lot of this old stuff. There may be a little bit of old emotions coming up, guys, and that's not unusual with this Mercury retrograde. There's gonna be a lot of old emotions coming up, a lot of old memories, that sort of thing. So somebody, somebody may have a realization about you and may kind of hit you up in terms of they may communicate with you. We also got the hangman, so you're definitely gonna have a realization about something. With this enthusiasm card, it says, life is always brighter when you wake up each day with a spirit of enthusiasm. And then this energy card, it says, with limitless energy, you'll achieve more than you've ever dreamed possible. So whatever you're doing this week, you're gonna be achieving something you've never, never achieved before. We also have judgment and the sun. So with this energy here, it's basically like you're gonna get your judgment day. You're going to understand that what you went through in the past is now going to be resolved and you're gonna have a happy ending. You may even meet a Leo or a fire sign. And we also have an air sign here as well. So you may meet an air sign also. Um, I also feel like there's some sort of energy around you guys moving forward and being really strong and within your power. And I'm hearing sticking to what you know and sticking to what you love. So I feel like you guys are really going to be in your um, emotions this week, in terms of your mood, I feel like it could be to do with your family, something to do with your family could be shifting. It could also be that you guys become, you know, pregnant or a news about a baby. It may not be yours though, I feel like it could be somebody else's. Um, but we also have you getting really excited about your life and your energy levels are definitely gonna increase. It's funny how we've got increase your energy levels and it has energy here. So it's definitely something to do with really something really hotting up and becoming much more exciting and powerful and just so intense. So let's have a look at the Moonology cards and let's see what number is gonna be your number for this week. Six, so that's funny because group number one had six as well. So look out for the number six and then from the Moonology, let's see what we have. What does group number two need to know about this week coming? 
Oh yes, bitch. Woo. <laughs> Expect powerful change. Yay. That's great. I love that so much. This is reminding me of the sun. It's like, boom, like powerful, happy. Yes, bitch. Luck is on your side. I love that so much. So a lot of a gorgeous, gorgeous energy this week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Also, we have be bold and make the first move. So maybe something that you're my you're making moves towards. I feel like you guys are really, really going towards something that you've wanted for such a long time. It could be something that you've been growing in, something that's been growing in the background and that you're now finally feeling the, getting the fruits of your labour. But it feels like something to do with your emotions that you have been so passionate about for such a long time. So beautiful, guys. I'm really excited for this group. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so, so much for 10,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. They're absolutely amazing. I love this channel. I loved doing all these cards for you guys. And I just honestly love what I do. And I love helping you guys with this. So it would really help me out. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what this week has in store for you. So we have imagination imagination intrigues the soul and illuminates the heart i love that we've got someone who is very dressed up as a clown it feels really really playful and very young and childlike so i really like that i feel like you guys are going to conjure up some sort of new plan or new endeavor something that makes you feel really good i feel like just light energy for this group oh yes oh my god yes venus love yay oh my god i'm really excited for this group <laughs> And then we also have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love, which is so good. I love that. So for you guys, I really feel like it's some sort of energy around love is the main energy. Like this card is sticking out to me so, so much. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could have already started to be in a new relationship. For others of you, you could begin a new relationship this week. You could meet somebody who really makes you feel good, who treats you with so much kindness. I also feel like you guys are really kind of going into your own imagination and thinking, is this still the life that I want? Is there anything that I want to change about it, you know? And if there is some things you're going to change, I feel like you are going to do that. I feel like there's definitely some romance coming in for you guys and some wealth especially and just the pleasure and harmony and, and happiness and balance and beauty. All the good stuff that's coming is coming in this week and it feels very feminine as well. So if you are a feminine or a female watching this, then this is definitely for you. Also, obviously, if you're a male, that doesn't mean it doesn't apply to you but I feel like the f the feminine energy is really going to be hotted up so obviously men have feminine energy also as well and so do males so we have with this gentleness this is also treating yourself with a lot of kindness so it doesn't mean it doesn't have to mean there's somebody new coming in but if there is it's most likely going to be someone extremely extremely lovely someone who really really lights you up and makes you feel really really good and the sun just came out so <laughs> that's so good and we also have the sun here so the, the literal real sun just came out and uh, it's really really beautiful today the weather so love that so you guys are feel, finally going to feel free um i'm hearing this uh this time i'm finally free which is a song from what is called bigfoot i think it's called bigfoot or or, or smallfoot it's from a film called smallfoot and it's actually a really good film it's a cartoon and it has a song called Finally Free by Niall Horan. And it's a really good song. So I really feel like you guys are really hitting the nail on the head this week. Oh, heck yeah. Beautiful. So this is actually quite similar to this love. With this um, Venus planet here, I really feel like that's almost like the Wheel of Fortune. So that's really, really interesting that we have that there. So let's see what else we have. Oh my God, you guys. You guys have got the best group, I feel like. Okay, I don't know if I want these. Do I want these? Oh, you're saying you definitely want these. Okay, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's have a look for Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I feel the need to pull one more card for this because I'm not sure if that's... I'm going to get a bit confused energy about that one, so they want me to be more specific. So let's have a look and see. Guys... Guys, we definitely have a relationship forming this week. Holy crap. So if you guys are single and you want to be in a relationship, there's definitely some new energy coming in. I really feel the need to just pull one more card for that. For that. Just see what there is. Because I feel like they keep falling out in clumps. So we're going to pull just one more card. That's why we needed to pull it. There we go. Beautiful. Guys, I'm honestly so excited about this group. I'm trying not to be really loud because I get... I, really, <laughs> I start to get really loud when I get excited. So this Knight of Wands... 
I feel like, is this in reverse? No. So I feel like this is definitely a new partner coming in. Most likely a fire sign, a foul shell. Could also be a um, water sign also, okay? So for you guys are really kind of connecting to, you guys are really connecting to a new cycle. Okay, it's a new cycle coming in. You guys are really connecting to your love energy. There's somebody you're gonna, I think you've been working hard so much and this is basically going to be a really lovely week where you are getting the fruits that you have been sowing, you're getting the fruits you've been sowing, getting the seeds that you've been sowing and you're seeing growth within your life now. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really gonna find a fire sign this week. Could be on, especially on a Friday or a Sunday as well. Could also just be any day of the week but there's something happening. You guys are really shifting. There's something really shifting in this group. And because you've been working so hard, working on your finances, working on your work, your hobbies, what you love, working on yourself, this is, what's, this is what you've been waiting for, okay? I really wanna pull one more card from the astrology and we're gonna see what's happening. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune for Monday, Tuesday, 10 of Pentacles, um, Wednesday, the Seven of Pentacles, the, uh, we have Thursday, the three of uh, four of swords, Friday, the king of wands. And then for Saturday, we have a lot going on. There's definitely some sort of realization about actually, I do wanna be with this person. We have the king and the queen, which means a couple is being formed. Romantic couple, especially. Could be meeting your friend, but it feels much more romantic, much, much more romantic. There's definitely romance in the air for you guys. So if you're already coupled, this isn't just an extra sign that you're, in, you're with somebody who really appreciates you. So we're going to have a look at this. The full is gorgeous. So let's see, what's this Venus about? Can you give me any more information about this Venus card? Thank you. What sort of relationship is this? So underneath we have complexity. So if you guys, you may feel like this is more complex than what it actually is, because I feel like with this being underneath the deck, it's almost like you're focusing on something that doesn't really need to be focused on. And maybe you need to cleanse yourself because we have this kind of like almost like smoke energy. So it could be you feel like, oh, maybe this person just wants to kind of be intimate and not have a committed relationship but actually they really do like you and it could be even somebody that it's going to be somebody new I feel like for a lot of you guys for sure it could if it's not somebody new it's definitely somebody who you have very strong feelings for and, and you know that they have strong feelings for you or you know that this person is a good egg and they're not somebody who's toxic or anything like that this is making me feel like there's somebody who loves space and it could be somebody who is kind of out of this world in terms of like you've never met them before somebody you never thought you'd meet so we have Uranus, Revolution, Taurus, and we have Fifth House, Passion. Isn't that amazing, guys? So you could also be meeting a Taurus. Could be a fixed sign also, but I'm getting very earthy energy from this anyway. I feel very earthy energy and fiery energy, especially. Revolution, it says breakthrough, brainstorming, lightning, edge, surprise, freedom. Exactly that's what I said at the start. So it's definitely going to be very passionate energy, childlike, romance. We have romance twice, I'm pretty sure, don't we? Yeah, we have romance here and romance here. So if you guys have look at your fifth house as well and see what, what a star, see what sign is in your fifth house. Also, that's going to give you extra information. So let's see what else we have in terms of this um in terms of this week, let's see what number you should be looking out for. Number one, beautiful. This group is amazing. This group is so like positive. The fact we've got number one is like, hell yeah, new beginnings, new start. What else for this group for this week coming? This feels like a whole new life. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is stunning guys. This is so, so stunning. Oh my God. Oh my God, I, I'm, I'm like, I don't have any words. Like I'm shocked, this is amazing. And shocked in a good way, guys. Like not like, oh no, like, no, it's really, really good. This is a very good sign because I feel like what you've been working for is actually starting to shift now and you're actually seeing results or you're going to see results. Now we have nothing will come this situation. This always reminds me of worrying, okay? This is basically saying that worrying will not make the situation change. And also to not worry about it because it is a positive shift. And you may be worried about it because you think, oh, maybe that person's not for me, um, it's too good to be true, all that sort of stuff. I have been single for a long time. Or it could be a sort of situation where you're like, oh, maybe it's not gonna improve, but no, it is. Let's just split the deck and see a bit more information. Beautiful, exactly. So it's definitely surrendering to this situation and as I say, not worrying, completely letting go of all that worry, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, then please let me know down below. Uh, click that thumbs up button to let me know to do more of these videos. It lets me know that, okay, you guys like it and I'll do more of these sort of videos. Also guys, look out for um, pink and roses and 
love hearts and um, purple really look out for those as well and the number five and we had that here so i definitely feel like that's for you guys and also the world like look out for the world like a world image or that sort of thing okay <clears throat> so thank you guys so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye